OK, to start with, if you're using CS4 and you're following this tutorial, I suggest you use the Essentials layout as this is what I'm using and it will be easier to follow the tutorial. So up here, make sure you've clicked the Essentials layout. OK, so to start with, we're going to create a new ActionScript 3 flash file by clicking here. And I'm going to go to Properties and I'm going to set the stage size. So if I click Edit and I'm going to change the stage size to 800 by 600. This is a good size to make sure it will fit on anybody's screen, but you could probably get away with bigger, but we'll just to stay on the safe side, we'll use this. So, what we need to do is set up our timeline. We need four layers, so I'm going to click New Layer to create four layers, and I'm going to double click on the name and rename each of them. So I'm going to call the first one Actions, the second one Labels, the third one Pages, and the fourth one buttons. It's a good idea to try and name all your layers just to make things easier to work with and clearer. So what we need to do is start adding keyframes to define the different areas for different pages. So on frame 11 of the actions layer, if I right click and insert keyframe, and then on frame 21, right click and insert keyframe, and then on frame 30, as this is going to be the last page, we're only going to have three pages, right click and insert frame. Now we've got three distinct areas for each page. We can do the same with the next two. So insert keyframe, insert keyframe, and insert frame. Once more, insert keyframe, insert keyframe and insert frame but on the buttons layer as the buttons go across all the pages we don't need to do that we're going to just insert frame so we have one long line going across all of the pages so what we need to do is in the labels layer we're going to give each page a unique label now this will help with the action script later so click on frame one of the labels layer, make sure we're on properties, and in the name we're going to call this one home, click on frame 11, and we're going to call this one about, and then click on this one, and we're going to call it links. There we go. So it's really easy now to see which area belongs to which each page. There we go. So that's our timeline and stage set up. OK, so now would be a good time to save our project. So I'm going to just save this on the desktop for now and call it website. And we need to create our buttons. To do that, I'm just going to go insert new symbol. Make sure the type is button. And we're going to call this home underscore btn. So that tells us it's a button, press OK. Now we go into a new window away from the main timeline. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, choose fill colour, I just want it to be white, and a line colour. Draw out from the central cross the size of the button I want. And then I'm going to use the text tool to add the text to the button. So this one's going to be home. Just need to change the colour of the text and make sure it's centered align. Okay, get it centered. There we go. So the next step is to create the overstate. So this is the normal state. In the overstate this will appear when the mouse hovers over it. So if we right click, insert keyframe, that makes a copy of it on this frame. And all we have to do is change something. So a simple change would be to change the 
font color so I could change it to a light blue or something like that so now we've got two different states we've got the normal state and then the state when the mouse hovers over it now to get out of this view I click back to scene one I'm going to go to my library and you can see the home button now I need to right click on this and duplicate it so I can use it to create the next button so I'm going to call it about underscore btn there we go we've got a copy of it we double click on it to edit it double click on the text to edit that so obviously we're going to change this to about click onto the overstate we also need to change this manually as well so change that to about and there we go I can go back to scene one again right click duplicate call this one links underscore btn double click to edit double click to change the text links and links click back to scene one right we've got our three buttons created I'm going to click back onto the arrow and I'm going to drag the buttons onto the stage but before that we need to make sure we've got the right layer and frame selected so I'm going to click on the buttons layer and I'm going to drag that onto the stage and you see as soon as I do that that goes grey which means that is going to go across the whole of the three pages so get our about and our links and then we can start aligning them and making sure that they all look even okay so there's our three buttons now the final thing we need to do with our buttons is to give each one an instance name so if I click on properties make sure I've clicked on my button the instance, instance name is important because it is what the code uses to refer to each button so I'm just going to call simply call this one home this one about and this one links there we go and I'm just going to save it